I will never be a memory. Your end is not. Enjoy it. for me. Shall I give you despair? You are too weak to save anyone. It's a simple thing. God damn it, that's fun. Sephiroth is a highly recognizable, overpowered anime man that comes from one of the greatest games ever made, and I will fucking fight you on that. And luckily for you, he's actually pretty easy to build with the tools available. You could even build this pretty damn quickly if you want to do a full Elden Ring Sephiroth run. You just need to be okay with killing your Katana Man savior after letting him rescue you from Mr. Edgy Blood Knife Man. Which, as an amoral, power-seeking lunatic, well, let's just say that it's plenty in character. All dismissive jokes aside, Elden Ring lets you get pretty close to actual Sephiroth. I know we've always had the washing pole or long katana equivalent, but without those supreme magics that Sephiroth is known for, it just never felt right. Let's face it, he is basically a wizard with an overcompensating weapon, great hair, and crippling mommy issues. I don't know what it said about me personally that I sort of kind of looked up to Sephiroth when I was but a wee lad. Not so much for all the murder and psychotic behavior, but more so the calm, collected power personality he exhibited before. After his whole psychotic break thing, not so much. Even his plan didn't make a ton of sense, honestly, which I'm pretty sure was to kill everything on the planet, then merge with it and use it as a sweet boss ride to go exterminate the cosmos or something. I don't know, it's been a while since I played the game. It was either that or just make Cloud's life miserable. Definitely one or the other. Now, looking at him here, this is pretty damn close. I mean, look at those eyes, absolutely haunting like a predator. Almost all the slider tutorials I sought out really gave off a discount, great value style Sephiroth. Fire! The problem is that it was a massive pain in the ass to tear through two separate videos from the same creator to get this finalized look, so I have left links to the original video as I glean the information from below, but I'm also going to be showing snapshots for the sliders of this finalized look at the end of the video. Not trying to deny views, just trying to consolidate the information for ease of use. Now on how to cop this look, it's once again easy as sneaking up behind a praying girl and stabbing her while her boyfriend watches. Watch this, Lise. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now! We have the iconic shirtless Sephiroth, of which we only need a pair of black pants. Ideal for those that don't mind taking a whole lot of extra damage so they can show off their gleaming anime bod. <laughs> In somewhat more realistic territory, I've opted for this setup, which I'm showing on the screen right now. Unfortunately, there was nothing close to his weird trench coat-like thing that he wears when he's not rocking the half-nude look, but the Knight Rider's chest piece I feel is a pretty excellent compromise. No helmet though, because anime boys don't wear helmets. We all know this. The talismans I used are also listed below. Feel free to mix and match them, but this combination I found decently effective. You also can't go wrong with Alexander's Jar Shard. Now onto the main event. How did we lump in those sweet materia magics along with a powerful long boy sword option? One word, arcane. Okay, it probably wasn't that surprising. Arcane gives us the flexibility we need to have solid levels of damage from our long ass sword and have huge levels of incantation scaling. I mean, look at that AR and look at that incant scaling. Just bonkers. We also have a pretty substantial amount of bleed on the Nagakiba, which as we all know is a pretty much ubiquitously useful addition. It's not the star of the show, but it certainly doesn't hurt to bring it along. So, here's the final build, and this is just at rune level 120. Sephiroth being the powerhouse he is definitely benefits from pushing even further beyond to 150 or so. Even at 120, we have a solid amount of MP, HP, SP, and plenty of magic to throw around thanks to our good friend, 
the Dragon Communion Seal. We did need to provide a decent amount of faith so we could have access to some heavier incantations, but I feel it's pretty worth it. If need be, add in the plus 10 faith physic effect to get some extra utility. For magics, we get Faraga, Thundaga, Blizzaga, Regen, Barrier, Curaga, M Barrier, just to name a few. We also have all the ones in between. Now I know what you're thinking, no Meteor? I mean, he cast the damn thing one time. So if I have to choose between casting Meteors and casting everything else, I am absolutely going to go for casting everything else. Plus, Sephiroth does not use a staff. It just straight up doesn't look right. And we're cosplaying here. Looking good is kind of the main thing. For general strategy, well, just have at. Sephiroth has access to tons of tools, which is partially why he is so damn fun to play. Having an arcane infused Nagakiba lets us use a plethora of different Ashes of War as well. My favorite being Sword Dance and fucking Beyblade mode. I really wanted Piercing Fang to work since it seems so in character for him, but compared to other Ashes, well, it is kind of the suck. If you want to go for full cosplay, go for it. But I try to keep myself within the borders of viable land. Oh, and before I forget, I must say the YouTuber Creed. Good viewer, please navigate to yon red button below and click at it if thou find my content appealing in such a regard that you would enjoy seeing more of this digital tomfoolery sometime within the next fortnight. And if it would please it thou further, navigate thine mouse to the gesture of universal approval and smite it with a gesture of your own approval. Verily, I say. No, but seriously, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Now let's get a little taste of what old Sephiroth brings to the table.
Now, as promised, here are the sliders I was talking about made into an easily digestible form. Feel free to follow along or pause whenever you need to do so. They are definitely the closest I was able to find and I am very grateful people take the time to make these and upload them, especially for those of us who are artistically challenged. Now that that's taken care of, I must go and do the thing that must be done. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Actually, I don't really care. Tifa was always best girl anyway. Suck it!